tennis is a game of strategy, and 90-year-old Joseph Parham Sr. is still on the court, focusing on his skills and getting exercise. It will not uh, continue to hold together if you don't move. Playing alongside him, his 89-year-old friend, Stanley Turner, who admires his tennis partner's quiet determination. He made me a better person, and just by being around him, you know, watching him, how he relate to people, and how he talked to people. We were young. We were 75, yeah. Yeah, we were 70. <laughs> that was 70s, double yes. champion. Parham's numerous trophies and awards are displayed throughout his West Baltimore home. He served in the Army and taught French and Spanish in Baltimore City public schools. I pushed everybody hard, but, but they, they knew I was pushing because I want them to learn, not just to pick on them. <laughs> but it takes some prodding to get him to talk about his role in Maryland history. Okay. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was part of integration on the tennis courts in Baltimore City. Druid Hill Park had two sets of tennis courts, clay for whites, located near the conservatory, and other courts for blacks, not far from the segregated pools. Parham says they began taking over the whites only courts. They can't put up with this. We pay for all of these courts. We don't just pay for the ones that we are. Their strategy? They couldn't play but so long because their game is tiring. So when they came off, we went on. Baltimore Recreation and Parks abolished the policy in 1955. The clay courts at Druid Hill Park, once reserved for whites, no longer exist. Parham says the game of tennis has taught him a life lesson. Don't be afraid. If you find something that you like, you want to do, do it. And if it helps, helps not only you, but help other people also, that's fine. Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.